So she spent 900 and expects to make 45,000. Wow. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Are you guys in this video? We're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So these are Share Your Best March Bolos from Bolo Buddies Facebook group members who shared their bolo under this post. So come on over and share your best April bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. This post is pinned in the featured uh, announcement section of the group. So shout out your social media, shout out your eBay store or whatever platforms you sell on in the post and I will shout it out in a video like this. So the first one comes from Farm Girl Scavenges on eBay, but she is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel on YouTube, whatnot, um, Instagram, Facebook, and eBay. And she is a big money bolo finder. I just did another video where she sold something for $4,500 that she paid six bucks for. So make sure you check out that video. Uh, all right. It is an iconic 1980s Peter Max Neo Max reversible art jacket. Now, I've never heard of Peter Max, and you probably are all like, you've never heard of Peter Max, but I haven't. And I definitely would have picked this up just for the fact that it is so interesting and different. So let's see where she got it. She said, okay, I know this is a February sold, but the buyer opened up a return, so I never posted it. However, he never returned it. So now I will share it. So one thing I will say is sometimes buyers will open up returns just to try to get you to close it and refund their money because a lot of people do that. I recommend, and this is just my recommendation, always make the buyer return the item because if you don't, uh, even if it's a low dollar item, just make them return it. That way you don't have to worry about it being a scam and them just trying to get their money back. People do do this. <laughs> they do do. Um, it is do do when they do do this. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments. Your advice may be differently. That is just what I do. So anyway, she said, I purchased this for a dollar or two bucks at the end of an estate sale. My son tried to snipe it from me. Nope. Anyway, Peter Max is a very well-known artist and in many different mediums, paint, posters, clothing. Again, feel free to follow um, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger. So I don't think she put, oh wait, purchased for a dollar or two at the end of an estate sale. Sold it looks like for $3.99.99 on a 20% off sale. That is incredible. The next item, oh my goodness. Okay, so like I said, Noelle, unbelievable. And her YouTube channel is a wealth of knowledge. But I'm sure a lot of you pass by these bunnykins. Um, I'm, I probably have. But look at this. Look at this. All right, are you ready for this story? Oh, wow. Okay, don't come for me. She said, I'll just put it out there for you. I'm a slacker. There, I went. <laughs> so she's saying because she hasn't shared a bolo. Uh, I went to an estate sale the week before Christmas and spent 900 total. She said, I picked up over 340 Royal Dalton Bunny Kens figurines, some Hagen Reniker figurines, a few other Royal Dalton pieces, some antique books, and some creepy ratted out dolls to be seen soon. She said she promises. She said, I've been listing the Bunnykins a few a week since then, and here is one sold. She said, I will put some more links for others. She said, I paid roughly $2.20 a piece for everything except the books and dolls. They were $8 bulk price. I listed this guy high and took a best offer, and I wish I hadn't, but live and learn. Still got a great price. Took an offer for five hundred, and they were all in the five thirty six fifteen shipped with insurance, and they were all in. Oh, got great feedback. All in all, I have already sold approximately twelve items already for a little over three thousand, so well into the profit, and I expect to make close to forty five thousand k on that purchase. So she spent nine hundred and expects to make forty five thousand. Wow. She said, do not be afraid to make a large per purchase, just do the research. So she's sort of regretting taking a best offer of 500 on this is what I feel like she was saying. Uh, so here are some of her other 
bunkin, bunkins, bunnykins. We're talking about doo-doo and bunkins. <laughs> these bunnykins are some of the other ones she sold. And she did take best offers on these. So I'm not sure what she actually sold them for. But you can see here um, some other ones. This is just the display. So she has definitely sold some. And what did she say? $2.20 a piece. So she's definitely making a very, very nice profit here. She put some pictures here. Um, so this top one, I can tell you, sold for $500. And this one here, she took a best offer of $340. I'm looking at her uh, screenshots. I don't think uh, this one sold for $299. It must be a, this one is out of $750 and this one was out of $250. So they may be a little different. And just to give you guys an idea, that one I didn't have a screenshot of yet, but let's see what this uh, display sold for. I know that one's here and then we'll move on to the next thing. Uh, the display sold for fifty-five thirty-eight. So you can see she did not go down on her price a whole lot on the other items. All right, vintage horse hams, hames. I don't know how to say that. Uh, bought at a local marketplace for thirty dollars. It's a mere western decor. Oh, that doesn't even look like a mirror. Usually, you know, you see a lot of reflection in mirrors. Oh, there you go. There's the deer in the mirror. All right. Um, bought local on Marketplace for 30. Had that perfect place to hang it in my house. She said her husband didn't like the color of the leather, wanted it darker. She was said I was not going to take the time to make the changes. Listed for 150, took a best offer of 125 in just a couple days of listing. She said she's using her, oh, um, lots of plenty is uh the ebay store and she said thanks courtney for the content so it's a mirror oh shipping mirrors does anybody um, have any tips for shipping mirrors if so put it in the comments hi courtney i bought this at the goodwill bins for five dollars and sold it for 220 plus shipping i figure that's a good return on income uh or uh, return on income return on investment sorry roi uh 1960s vintage Shermac four cent stamp machine coin or roll stamp vending. Oh my goodness, this was at the Goodwill bins. That is incredible. Wow, fabulous. All right, hi, thank you for letting me share this story. I found this pearl snap top at the Goodwill outlet. My average cost a dollar seven. When I first saw it, I thought maybe. While I was looking the top over, I noticed the interesting Ralph Lauren tag. I remembered something about the Ralph L RR tag, the RR. Um, but wasn't sure. Then I noticed something in the chest pocket. It was money. Six dollars. She said, I was over the moon. Normally, I just find candy wrappers and tissues. This shirt sold for 32 plus shipping in about two days. I'm thinking I might have underpriced it. I will know better for next time. My eBay store is the lost closet 12. So yeah, anything Ralph Lauren, I, if it's vintage or hard to find and you can't find comps, start the auction high and just see what happens. And if it doesn't sell, then you can, uh, Relist at a buy it now. That is my recommendation. Just a recommendation. This one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty. And if you guys have not been to Cat Feel and Thrifty's whatnot shows, oh my goodness. She's now Monday and Wednesday night at 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And she, oh, she sells so many bolos over there. Unbelievable. And a lot of them go for cheap and resellers buy them. And other ones, collectors are in there and they pay a nice penny for them because she brings amazing stuff. So if you are a jewelry collector or a reseller looking for something you can flip, definitely check out Catfield and Thrifty on Whatnot. I do have a referral link down below where you can join Whatnot and get $15 to shop. I also am Bolo Buddies over there. I do jewelry as well. I do a lot of untanglings. That's kind of my thing. Super fun. But I also do themed shows where I'll do all animals and uh, all animal jewelry. Sometimes I do toys. Sometimes I do ephemera. I need to get back into um, the other things besides jewelry because I really enjoy it. If you guys have a category that you would like me to sell in on whatnot, let me know down in the comments. 
Uh, so crafters, I've done vintage Christmas. I've got so much inventory, but I'm kind of stuck on jewelry right now because it's easy to ship and it's super fun to untangle. So come see us over on Whatnot and grab that referral link to get your free money. This is a vintage Native American turquoise sterling silver spider, small brooch, old pawn. She said, I picked this little guy up in a box of jewelry from a local estate sale. I probably have maybe two in this very small bug attitude, very small, big attitude listed and sold on eBay within a month for full asking of 60. Now, another thing I will tell you is why is she listing on eBay and whatnot? Is she just putting the good stuff on eBay and bringing the stuff that's not good to whatnot? No, I will tell, well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I do have to list jewelry on um, eBay here and there because, and I don't necessarily always pick high dollar stuff, just things to keep me active in the eBay algorithm. My hands are in jewelry constantly. And, you know, I just was talking to Lucky Day Living and she is on whatnot as well and does jewelry and she is fabulous. So check her out also. But if you are selling on multiple platforms, you have to stay active. So if my hands are touching jewelry, I'm just going to pull out some things to put on eBay because I need to stay active in the algorithm. So like I said, I was talking to Lucky Day Living and I'm like, let's try to do three eBay listings a day. Let's just make ourselves do it because you get into this um, rut or uh, you experience some burnout and you're just like, I just want to do whatnot right now, or I just want to do Mercari right now, or I just want to cross post right now, or I just want to do YouTube. And you can't do that. You have to stay um if you want to have multiple uh, streams of income coming in, you have to stay active on all platforms. So my goal right now is three a day. Um, how am I doing? <laughs> well, it's only been, what, four days? I'm doing okay. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. So anyway, uh, yeah, just stay active. Stay active in that algorithm. List, list, list. So if you've started whatnot, I know it's time consuming, but get those eBay listings up. All right. So the next one here is also from Cat Feel and Thrifty. And these are large wooden spoons, scoop set of three hard car, or I'm sorry, hand carved antique primitive farmhouse. The spoons she said she got in her mother-in-law's basement and knew they were a bolo, free to her, always a bolo, took an offer of 40. Um, I picked up two of them from local thrift. It looks like for $11. So this one sold for 88. And this one sold for 30. So these are Westminster hand cut French crystal glass trinket, West Germany. And this one is the other one. So you can see her keywords and what it looks like there. This one is I pick up old quilts when they don't have major damage or aren't outrageously priced. This one had two small holes where the fabric had just given out and it had a few stains. Still sold for 170, paid eight about six months ago at an estate sale. Eight into 170. I have a whole video talking about quilts that sell for big money. You should definitely check that out if you want to learn more. Oh my goodness. These can go for absolutely crazy money, even with condition issues as seen. Right, this one's mine. Uh, it is fabric and jacquard and it it's silk mill made in Hong Kong. And it was really pretty. So I decided to list this separately. It did have a tape mark from the tape being on it so long. And I sold this for a best offer of $67 plus um, shipping. And I paid $1 for this at a garage sale. There is another one here. And this one is from Nina Jules. And she said, I picked this vintage stained glass light fixture up at a garage sale for 40. It is large. She marked it as great for a pool table on Facebook Marketplace. She said she did put Tiffany style in the title on Facebook Marketplace, but she would not recommend for other platforms. But I do think on the wild, wild west of Facebook Market, that has helped it sell fast. Sold in less than 12 hours on Facebook Marketplace for $450, no fees, local pickup, and we made a new friend. Okay. Yes, um, that is called keyword spamming. That is why she was saying she would not recommend doing it on the platforms. I don't know if I would recommend doing it on Facebook either, but she did and she sold it for $450 more quickly because of that. Uh, she did put Tiffany style. So what do you guys think about keyword spamming? Would you do it on Facebook Marketplace? Do you think that's okay? Let me know down in the comments. She is Nina Jules on eBay 
and also Facebook and uh, YouTube. So definitely check her out. She is definitely a bolo finder. All right. The next item here is this Bluey and Friends muff muffin plush. She said, Retro Resale 167 is my store on eBay and Mercari. I picked up this Bluey plush muffin at the Goodwill bins. I always buy over 30 pounds since I drive two hours and there and two, two hours there and two hours back. Wow. So $1.38 a pound. I probably have less than 75 cents in this. I picked up originally and hoped to find a few others to build a lot, but didn't find any others. Sat in my to-be-listed pile probably a month while looking around locally for others. Finally decided to just list it by itself, thinking maybe 15 if I'm lucky. Started looking for comps, but only finding small lots of two or three or brand new with tags for 50. So listed high at 35. Sold within two hours of listing. Okay, so Bluey is a cartoon. And this is one of the pals, I guess, one of the friends of Bluey. And it's a plush, a stuffed animal. So if you want to know more about stuffed animals that sell for big money, check out um, Bolo Buddies plush in the search bar of YouTube and you will find tons of plush videos. I love uh, sharing plush. And Mercari is, uh, they just changed all their fee formats. So there's no selling fees over there. Some of you may like this. Some of you may hate it. They have passed it on to the buyer. You can put your feedback down in the comments. But um, I've heard actually that a lot of people are having great success with this. If you're thinking about selling on Mercari, there's no selling fees. That means when the item sells, there are no selling fees. So I, I don't know if any other platform does that. So it should be interesting. But if you're thinking about branching out, um, I use List Perfectly to cross post my items. I start on eBay and then go to the other platforms. But um, you can also use the catalog, which I highly recommend. I do have a tutorial how to video. Um, so List Perfectly Bolo Buddies in the search bar on YouTube, and you can find that. I also have it linked down below, and you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. List Perfectly also has come out with the Pro Plus plan. And I haven't been talking about this much lately, but I have in the last few videos I've done today because the features of the new Pro Plus plan are absolutely incredible. So if you were kind of on the fence before, this may talk you into it. And you can also, I believe, upgrade with that um, referral code Bolo Buddies to get the 30% off. So uh, my referral links and affiliate links are down in the description. I appreciate when you guys use those. That does help me keep this channel running. Um, Mercari and Poshmark. If you join Poshmark with my link, you get $10 to shop. If you join um, Mercari with my referral link, you'll get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. So that is just free money coming your way. So check out those links down below, referral and affiliates. So usually you get something. Uh, Conair HLM 10 hot lather machine in white. Purchased this for $3 at a local thrift store. It sold in about 15 minutes from listing for full asking price of $100. My store is Green Street Vintage and Variety. And I think that, um, oh, here, view original listing. I was looking at, here it is. Green Street Vintage and Variety. I think it either went back or I forgot to go in. So there it is. And that is what it looks like. hundred bucks. What do you guys think? I knew about that one. I've seen that Bolo before, but I've never, I don't think I've ever sold one. Spook Town by Ben Cooper, Frankenstein costume with mask. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper on um, eBay and also on YouTube. She said, Paid $5 for this vintage costume at a yard sale and sold it for $55 plus shipping. Yes, vintage Halloween is a big money bolo. Again, look at the condition. Damaged items will sell for big money. It doesn't have to be perfect all the time. If you find a collector and they want it, they will buy it and they will pay up for it even with damage. So don't just dismiss it because it has damage. Picker Money Flipper has an awesome uh, YouTube channel. They are Bolo Finders. So be sure to give them a follow and um, check out the Facebook Share Your Best April Bolo and share to be featured in a video just like this. I appreciate everybody that shared. Thank you so much. What do you guys think oh, about these? bolos. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much and thanks for watching.